Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Horrific Used Car Scam is Bankrupting Buyers Now. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Remember when car sellers used to roll back the odometer of the cars they sold to rip buyers off? They used to take a car with 150,000 or even 200,000 miles on it. They would roll back the odometer to 75,000 miles and then sell it to some poor unsuspecting buyer. Well, that doesn't happen as often as it used to. Now, there's a new scam that is being perpetrated by both used car dealers and private car sellers that is really hurting car buyers like never before. It's so bad that it can even bankrupt you if you're an unsuspecting car buyer and you get victimized by this scam. So what is it and how can it hurt buyers? Most importantly, how can buyers protect themselves from this scam? Well, it's called the warning light scam. Do you know those warning lights that light up on your dash to tell you that something is wrong with your car or the engine? The check engine lights up or one of the other dash uh, lights uh, light up uh, and they tell you that there's something very wrong with your car. Well, disreputable dealers and used car sellers have figured out a way to shut those warning lights off so that unsuspecting buyers don't see them when they check the car out before they buy it. Let's say you go to check out your car and uh, you get there and you inspect it. You don't see any warning lights lit up on the dash, so you assume that all is well, right? Most people do. No lights means no problems. Wrong. That's what it used to mean, but not anymore. Why is that? Because now unscrupulous car sellers trying to sell a car with dash warning lights all lit up have found a way to shut them off. You get into the car and you look at the dash and all appears well because there's nothing lit up, right? Car looks good, drives okay, engine sounds good. You assume everything is fine except that it's not because you've been tricked by the seller. The sellers are now using car engine scanners that plug into the OBD port in your car and read the information on your car's computer. This data is analyzed to identify specific issues, whether it's an engine misfire or loose wires or a change in oxygen levels. What's interesting about these vehicle scanners is that in addition to helping you check the car for additional problems, they can also help you reset or shut off some of the uh, computer functions of the car or the warning light functions of the car. That means that the seller can plug in an inexpensive OBD2 scanner into the car and shut off or reset all the warning lights on the dash. Now, this will create the impression that everything is fine to a potential buyer who sees it. But in general, you'll need to drive between 50 and 100 miles after its computer has been cleared to see if there are any warning lights that come back again. If the problem hasn't been fixed, then those warning lights will return. So you decide to buy a car and you're driving home. And sometimes in the next 50 to 100 miles of driving, your car dash lights up like a Christmas tree with warning lights. Your car computer has detected the problem again and it's lit up the warning lights on the dash. So the buyer calls the dealer that sold them this piece of junk and says, the dashboard lights have lit up. And do you know what, what the dealer says? He says that you signed a form saying that you agree to purchase the car as is. And legally, this means that he doesn't have to give you your money back. So how can you prevent this from happening? Well, before you buy any car, you should take it to a mechanic and have the mechanic tell you if the car's computer has been reset recently. If it has, then you can be sure that the dealer is trying to rip you off. When that happens, you should just walk away. Don't buy the car no matter what because you have thousands of dollars of repair bills ahead of you. And that can be a very serious problem. Some car buyers will even purchase a small car engine scanner to see if the computer has been reset or not before they even look at the car. 
the problem with this is that you need to know how these scanners work. It's not as simply as, you know, plugging it in and getting all the answers. You have to know what these warning signals mean on the computer display. Lots of codes. You have to look up some of the codes on these scanners. It's not as simple as, as people think. The best course of action is to pay a mechanic, an experienced mechanic, to do a pre-purchase inspection on the car so they can tell you what's really wrong with it. We've been seeing this scam a lot lately. People always assume that if they don't see warning lights on the dash, then the car is okay, but that's not always true. Uh, you've got to be very, very careful and always get a PPI inspection on your car before you buy it. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.